Hi, and welcome to I1 Delta E. I1 Delta E is a little app that is developed by AppForce One, which happens to be part of Color Plaza. Um, so I'll be slightly tooting my own horn today, I hope you don't mind. I uh, just wanted to show you this app because it can be very useful when you have a discussion on color, because uh, those are always difficult discussions to have unless you can measure something. So this is intended for those people that do have either a one i1 pro 2 or an i1 pro available to themselves um, if you don't have the device the software is useless because you need a device to make the measurement so let me show you what it looks like it's um, open on my mac um, first thing you have to do with any uh, application that does a color measurement with an i1 pro is to actually calibrate the device itself. So to do that you make sure that the uh, white tile is revealed on the uh, reference and you hit the calibrate button with the i1 Pro on it. So now it's calibrated and now we are ready to do a measurement. So basically what we can do is we can compare two measurements. So let's start by measuring two really bright colors. I've got here a Pantone um, uh, swatch set and uh, as you can see it's got quite bright colors on it and uh, let's see what we can do with the app so I'll measure a uh, 226 first let's measure that and then I'll measure the 78 or 7481 so what now is shown on the display is the delta E between those two colors and it's shown in all the variant uh, the different uh, standards so in 94 2000 and CMC uh, which one you use is depending on the industry you're in and uh, what you're used to using uh, the 2000 is a pretty common one um, I think I use that more than the other ones so I have here now two colors and they're measured in LAB colors and they're shown both of them and we have the distance between them in Delta E hence the name I1 Delta E very simple to do and just puts an end to how big is the difference between the color of for instance my Pantone swatch and my printout if you know that difference is only two or two point whatever you know it's good enough and it's it would pass as a proof so what else can we do um, as you can see it also has an LED chart and you can see that both um, colors that are measured are also displayed there you can see one in the green end right here and one in the magenta end of the spectrum uh, or the LED space color space I should say and as you can see both of these colors although these are well pretty much the most saturated ones I could find are still within sRGB gamut so can you show these colors on a display yeah you can um, can you print them yes because actually this is a printed swatch book on a proofing printer um, so this one is, is um, very close to the original a Pantone fan uh, but it is a printed version so this actually can be printed and it, the color that you see here is just on the edge so little side line here uh, do you always need to go to Adobe RGB to be able to show really strong saturated colors that are the end of the LAB uh, spectrum so high on, on the A and B axis of the A LAB model uh, no, in most cases you can get by perfectly fine with sRGB. Um, as you can see, this is the sRGB range, and both of these colors are within there. I can try a few more, see if I can find one that's outside of range. This one perfectly in range. Let me choose some lighter ones. As you can see, the measurements are quite fast. No, they're all within the sRGB range uh, but the useful thing is that you can stop a discussion on how big is the color difference between what I have here and what I have, have here which makes it very easy to uh, put an end to a discussion on color 
Um, it is available on the App Store. Let me show you where. Um, so for that, I will switch my screen viewer source to my entire monitor and hide it again. And now you should be able to see my entire screen and let me show the browser. And this is AppForce One's website and um, I1 Delta E is on there on the first page. So if you go to products you can see how I1 Delta E right there. And it gives a little explanation on what it does and a link to the App Store. So if you click on there you are presented with the App Store and you can open it up in the App Store app and if you want you can buy it immediately which I hope you will do uh, and if you do like it um, please let me know um, if you don't like it let me know why um, if you have suggestions for possible improvements please let me know uh, because we are constantly updating stuff and uh, we would possibly be able to uh, accommodate you by adding feature that you would like to have added to it. Uh, I can tell you one thing that we'll be adding shortly and that is um, uh, official Mojave support. It runs fine on Mojave now but when you start it you get a pop-up message saying uh, from Apple saying it's it's not optimized which is merely saying that it's not a 64-bit application. This has been on the App Store for a little while, so it's made with a compiler that did 32-bit, not 64. doesn't make it any worse. It just uh, isn't 64-bit. It won't be any faster when we do it 64-bit. The only reason we will do a 64-bit version now is we want to have Mojave support for uh, themes. So. For that, you'll probably find an update coming up in the App Store um, pretty shortly. Okay, if you have any questions on it, uh, feel free to contact uh, me on uh, support at appforce.one or at info.colorplaza.nl. Uh, uh, info at colorplaza.nl. Either one um, will work. Um, well, uh, I thank you for watching. I hope you find the app useful and if you do like it, please give it a review and rate it so we can get more people um, interested in this product. Um, sorry for pushing this product, but there is nothing out there like this. Uh, that's why I made it and I think it will help a lot of people that do have a device but still have discussions on color and don't know how to end those discussions. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.